Welcome back to this series of tutorials, basics of room acoustic simulation using Python. And this time we are going to take a look on how we can use the image source model in our deep learning experiments using PyTorch Torch Audio and inside the Google Colab environment. The guys from Torch Audio have been working on some prototype functions for room acoustics simulations and they have released under the nightly unstable version some room impulse response simulation functions. One is the ray tracing which computes energy histogram via ray tracing. We can have another tutorial about this another day and the simulate RIR ISM that computes the room impulse response based on the image source model. Torch Audio Prototype provides prototype features that they are at an early stage and they are intended for feedback and testing. So their interface might be changed without prior notice and usually these prototypes these modules of prototypes are excluded from release. To have access to these prototype functions, we need to install nightly unstable version. We are going to take a look at this prototype function simulate RIR ISM, and this is an implementation based on Pyroom Acoustics. So if you're not familiar with Pyroom Acoustics, you can take a look at Another tutorial, the basics of room acoustic simulation using Python, the introduction, where we start using Pyroom acoustics from the basics until a bit more complicated simulations. And it's part of a playlist and you can find it on my channel, Guitars for Real. As it's based on Pyroom acoustics, it is more or less the same way how we are going to use it. But we need to pay attention that now we are using tensors and we can have some differences in terms of shapes and we need to adapt. If you are used to Pyroom Acoustics, we now have to adapt to tensors. On this tutorial, we are going to install all the necessary versions in Google Colab. I believe that if you install in your local system, it will be much simpler because you can start your environment from zero and just install straight away the required libraries in the correct versions. But inside Google Colab, we need to check what is already pre-installed. Probably we need to remove and then install the libraries we are going to need. So we are going to start by checking the Colab environment versions. So I'm importing PyTorch and Torch Audio, and then I'm printing here the versions of PyTorch, which is the version 2.2.1, with CUDA 12.1, we have Torch Audio 2.2.1 and it's CUDA 12.1. We have our CUDA compiler version 12.2. This is already something we need to uh, have in mind as this CUDA compile compilation tool version is different from the ones that the versions were built here. And we are using Ubuntu 22.4. To have access to the Torch Audio nightly, we are going to build it from source. So later on, we are going to clone the source code from Git, and then we are going to build, use our build system. And we need the CUDA compiler. One very important thing is that both of these versions were built with CUDA 12.1. We just want to build Torch Audio, and it needs to be compatible with PyTorch. So we are going to uninstall the release 12.2 of CUDA compilation tools, and we are going to install the release 12.1. So we are going to build Torch Audio with the CUDA 12.1, and it will be compatible with PyTorch. This is what we're doing here. So we are removing CUDA, and then we are installing the CUDA compiler version from the CUDA toolkit 12.1, for Ubuntu 22.04. Later, we need to install our building tools. So we are going to use CMake for our build files and the Ninja as our building system. And we are installing with pip CMake and Ninja. Now we are going to clone the PyTorch Torch Audio code from their GitHub. We need the nightly version. So after we clone code, 
we are going to check out the nightly branch and we are going to install it using the pip install and this might take quite a while because we're building torch audio from source so you are going to see a lot of warnings it can take quite a lot of time but in my case here it was installed successfully we can see detect the CUDA compilers found the version 12.1 this is what we wanted all this build commands running ninja and after it's done we need to restart our runtime because we need to re-import PyTorch and Torch audio to start using so after I restarted the runtime I check again the versions and we see that we are on PyTorch didn't change now we are on Torch audio 2.2.0 that was built from the nightly branch we have our CUDA compilation tools that was changed to 12.1 so at this point we can start using our image source model compute the room impulse response and because I want to compare the results from the torch audio image source model with the pyroom acoustics image source model and to make my life easier I want to use the materials libraries from Pyroom Acoustics when I configure my image source model in my room I will install Pyroom Acoustics with pip and I will import Pyroom Acoustics and now I can start my image source model configuration and my room configuration basically it works the same way like we did with Pyroom Acoustics so when we take a look at the documentation we see that we have these parameters the room are the room coordinates and it needs to be a tensor with the shape of three this is what we're doing here we are defining a, a tensor and this will be a room that is 10 by 10 by 3 we have our source that is the sound source coordinates this is also a tensor with dimension 3 and we are locating our source at the position 4 by 4 by 2 and that is also a tensor next we have uh, microphone array so the coordinates of microphones we can have multiple microphones or we can have just one microphone as we are going to do this time and this is a tensor with the dim dimensions number of channels and three with the coordinates so we are having just one microphone so we see here that we have this tensor with one channel and three coordinates next we have our max order and it is the maximum number of reflections of the source it's an integer we are having here our max order and now we are going to define our materials the absorption coefficients and for that we are going to use the pyroom acoustics materials library so i'm defining here a material that it's the hard surface this material I'm getting the absorption coefficients and I'm calling it absorption and I'm defining a tensor and this tensor has this one two three four five six and this is because we could use a 1d tensor and then this shape must be six where the values represent the absorption coefficients of the walls of west east south north floor and ceiling in that order and if we are using a 2D tensor, the shape must be 7 by 6, where 7 represents the number of octaves. And this is what we are doing here. So let's take a look at this shape of these materials. So it's 7 by 6. And we see that when we define it this way, using the first loading the materials from Pyrom Acoustics and then creating the tensor, we transpose to get the appropriate shape. We have other parameters that they are optional and I will not set at this time. We can set the output length and the output length of the simulated signal. If none, which is the default, will be defined as the maximum distance between image sources and microphone times the sampling rate divided by sound speed plus the delay filter length. And we can also set the, the delay filter length, which is 
the filter length for computing the sync function and by default it is set to 81. We can also give these center frequencies of octave bands for multi-band walls. It is only used when absorption is a 2D tensor. We can set the sound speed, the speed of sound. The default is the traditional 343. And we can also set the sampling rate. The default is 16 kilohertz. And it will return the simulated room impulse response waveform, which is the tensor with the dim dimensions of channel and the RIR length and the channel here, channel used for multiple microphones. So now we configured our room and we configure, we have all the parameters for configuring the image source model. We are going to import the simulate RIR ISM from the torch audio prototype function. We are going to pass the room dimensions, the source, the microphone, the max order, the materials, and then we will have our room impulse response in this variable here. Next, I'm going to plot. So I simply call pyplot plot and I am having my impulse, my room impulse response here. So let's check if it's really the same as if we use pyrome acoustics. I'm just doing this part here because pyrome acoustics requires a specific way how we uh, configure the materials. So I am defining all the materials as a hard surface. So I'm making this make materials and then you pass the materials for each wall. And you could also change here if you want, just using to simplify using the same material. And then I'm passing the same room dimensions, the same sampling frequency, the same marks order and the same materials. I'm adding the same source, the same microphone, and then I am plotting and I'm plotting together here the room impulse response from PyRoom Acoustics and the room impulse response from PyTorch. And they actually match quite well. There are slightly differences if you plot the error of one minus the other. You are going to find some errors up to the fourth decimal point, much probably because they use different data types, maybe different precision, but it's indeed quite similar with the room impulse response using the image source model that we get from Pi Room Acoustics. So that's it. It is uh, very straightforward to use. It's very similar to what we did before in our tutorials using the image source model. I ran some simple simulations and so far I didn't get into any problems. And I'm sure that when Torch Audio releases the official image source model as part of their stable release, then we'll be able to use image source models inside our deep learning, machine learning experiments. But you don't need to wait until there. You can get ahead and start playing around with the prototype version. Thank you very much. This was Renato from Guitars for Rio in one more tutorial in the series of basics of room acoustic simulation using Python.